apparently Gen Z is like aging really rapidly. It is mainly because of the stress. Get closer. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. I was humbled so quick tonight. I was on live with my boyfriend and someone was like, how old's your girlfriend? And John jokingly responds 47. And the girl comments, oh, I thought she was early 30s. I am 23. So apparently Gen Z is aging like milk. And no one wanted to tell me. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Emergency and welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back and we're talking about Gen Z and aging again. But this time, this call isn't coming from inside the house. It's actually coming from the house down the street from seemingly millennials about how Gen Z is just aging terribly. There have been tons of TikToks, tweets, and just general content across the internet discussing why Gen Z allegedly looks older than they actually are. And I kind of want to talk about that because like most things that end up circulating around the internet discourse. There's some nuance here that I feel like we just aren't really talking about enough. So in this video, we're gonna take a dive into whether or not Gen Z actually does look older than their actual age. If we're aging like milk, why other generations may think so, along with trying to unpack society's issues with aging as a whole, because I feel like that's what it ultimately comes down to. But before we do that, hi, I'm Rumi, and welcome to Emer Gen Z, a little series I run on this channel where we talk about all things Gen Z, pop culture, media, or pretty much anything that's kind of related to this generation. <laughs> and if you're new to the channel and like all things commentary, pop culture, TV, and fashion, then definitely subscribe so that you don't miss out on any content that I have coming out in the future. I post multiple times a week, so you will be fed. Also, I leave a like on this video because it helps out a ton with the YouTube algorithm and follow me on my socials at Emergency on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. I'm starting to post more on there and actively going through the badification pipeline. So um, if you wanna keep up with that, <laughs> go check that out. <laughs> and if you're interested in supporting this channel further and getting early access to new videos, as well as getting exclusive videos each month, then consider hitting the join button and becoming a channel member today. But enough self promo, let's talk about Gen Z's aging issue. So where did all this hoopla come from? Well, if you've seen my last video talking about Gen Z's aging issue, you know the conversation around Gen Z and aging had been going on for quite a while, but the conversation's recently been revived with a new twist on it due to a video made by a popular TikToker named Jordan The Stallion, where he reacts to a podcast clip of a couple of people saying that Gen Z is aging older and proceeds to gag the live by revealing that he is actually 26 and most people do not believe him to be so, with him citing case examples of this being people assuming that him and his mom are the same age and even had The Rock confused, <laughs> thinking that Jordan was a whole father because Jordan went to an event where he was going to get something signed by The Rock. But instead of The Rock signing for Jordan, The Rock ended up signing for a Jordan, who he assumed to be the actual Jordan's son. And I must remind you again, Jordan is 26. So now because of that, people across the internet have been reacting and sharing their own takes for whether or not they believe that Gen Z is aging poorly or not. More so on the millennial side, and Gen Z is mostly reacting by either agreeing that they feel like they look older for their age, or just memeing on the millennials for making their videos. And I feel like this is such a great moment to dive into, why do we feel like Gen Z looks older? I feel like a lot of the conversation revolves around not the fact that Gen Z necessarily looks old, but more so that Gen Z looks older at a certain age than what someone would typically perceive someone of that age to be. Because I feel like saying Gen Z looks old as like a blanket statement is just objectively incorrect. Because when we look at the whole scope of the conversation, the oldest Gen Z is likely 26, 27 right now. And most millennials in this conversation are in their 30s. And I'll just say this, because this video is not meant to bash millennials. It's not really meant to bash anybody, but I hope people like the tussle. Being in your 30s does not mean that you're old. So saying that Gen Z looks older, meaning late 20s, early 30s, doesn't necessarily equate to old. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. But as to why people believe that Gen Z is looking older, people have been chalking it up to multiple things. According to the New York Times, those that have been seeking to cast blame have tried to pin Gen Z's supposedly accelerated maturation on vaping, makeup, cancel culture, or karma. Are? Some have suggested that the anti-aging products and procedures used by Gen Zers have ironically made them look older. And I've seen some of these takes on TikTok where people are attributing Gen Z's not so healthy habits on why they're looking older. And some have more validity than others because the bitters that are just like, it's Gen Z's karma for making fun of millennials, relax. But some have actual validity. Now I'm not saying overall that Gen Z just looks by and large older than they actually are, especially in comparison to what millennials look like at this age. Because I feel like we forget the conversation that we were having like, last year, where Gen Z was reflecting on how we looked in high school versus how millennials and Gen X looked in high school, and specifically how Gen Z actually looked like very young teenagers in high school, and at the very most, at least a teenager trying to cosplay an adult in high school, whereas the older generation seemed to look more mature 
for their age. And of course, I'm talking about millennials in high school. I'm not talking about the ones that are at the tail end of being a millennials, the cuspers, because for a lot of the oldest Gen Z, they still went to school together, which is something that I'm going to bring up again later in this video. But yeah, I just remember the conversation not too long ago about like how high schoolers and people in college now look a lot younger than how people of that age group used to. So I'm just like, when did this conversation flip, you know? But going under the assumption that Gen Z is actually aging older, is there actually any evidence to back that up? Well, yes. When we think about the lifestyle habits and general condition of Gen Z, a lot of what we do and go through on a day-to-day -day basis does contribute to aging. For one, stress levels. Surveys and studies show that Gen Z is the most stressed out generation, which makes sense given the world that we live in today in the state of said world that Gen Z has grown up with and now has to live with. And it's been proven that high stress levels actually do age you. And extended periods of stress are actually detrimental to your health. So physiologically, yes, that could be an attributing factor. There's also an issue of loneliness, which can be attributed to a decrease in offline interactions in day-to-day -day life, as well as for older Gen Z, the increase in remote work, which can contribute to sedentary lifestyles and more loneliness. And with Gen Z feeling collectively the most loneliness of any age group that can also impact one's health, which then could impact one's appearance. With, according to Forbes, loneliness possibly being as damaging as smoking 15 cigarettes per day, which sounds like a lot, like damn. This coupled with the insomnia issue that Gen Z holistically struggles with, along with the increase in vaping, you know, looking at all this back to back, the cards are kind of stacked up against the girlies. <laughs> It's like it makes sense why those factors may contribute to that. But then you also have to account for all the things that Gen Z is doing to counteract those things, like holistically eating healthier, being more active, and increased use in skincare and sunscreen. And I also feel like it isn't necessarily like physiological. And I also feel like the argument about Gen Z looking older isn't necessarily always about like what our faces or our bodies may look like. A lot of it can be attributed to the trends and styles that are popular amongst Gen Z online. A lot of trends, whether they be makeup, fashion, or lifestyle, tend to skew towards a more mature aesthetic. Like with TikTok not just going crazy over the mob life aesthetic, how old do you think a mob life is? <laughs> and for a lot of Gen Z, we grew up idolizing and following the lives, beauty and fashion trends, as well as the beauty standard of people that were in their late 20s. And by those people, I mean the Kardashian. Whether we like to admit it or not, they had a strong influence on everybody. Millennials included, but because Gen Z happened to be younger when the Kardashians were at their peak, the influence and impact looked a little different. But all this aside, this whole discourse is just so out of pocket. Because for one, why do we care? And two, what are we even talking about? I feel like the conversation has devolved into a I look younger than you competition. Millennials look younger than who? You. <laughs> Which for one, I really don't understand the sense of like, of someone in their late teens to early 20s, beefing with someone in their 30s to early 40s, just because I feel like those two age groups don't have anything serious to be beefing over. <laughs> in a critical manner. But mostly I feel like this conversation is just a reflection of people's problems with aging. Because let's be honest here, when we're talking about Gen Z aging poorly or looking older faster, which I will say from my personal experience, I wouldn't say that that's necessarily true holistically. There seems to be this connotation by saying that someone's aging or looking older and having that be a bad thing. And I care to ask the class, why? <laughs> Because for one, especially for the younger millennials, y'all are basically the same age as older Gen Z. Like y'all literally went to high school together. So by transitive property, anyone of that group that has smoke for Gen Z, y'all are basically one and the same. But speaking more broadly about why people consider aging to be a bad thing, I feel like a lot of that energy is attributed to the beauty standard, as well as people's general fear of mortality and getting older. Like it's no secret that we as a society are obsessed with looking younger and staying as young as possible for as long as possible. But that's a trap. Look at the anti aging product industry. The girlies want to stay young forever and coveting youth like that is a trap. I feel like a lot of people tend to forget that aging is a gift because realistically, it's not something that everyone gets to do. Growing old is a privilege. And by trapping ourselves behind these anti-aging or youth off competitions, we're really taking away from the beauty that is getting older. And at the end of the day, I feel like most people in their generation tend to look their age or at least around their age group. Of course, there's gonna be outliers, people that look really young for their age and people that look older than their age. And that's not a bad thing. And as Gen Z and millennials, I feel like we can all unite and be comfortable in the thought that at the very least, if we do want to be vain, if we do want to be vapid, we can relish in the thought that both our generations are going to look better than Gen X and boomers. <laughs> And that's where to drink and water and sunscreen, baby, okay? <laughs> <laughs> 
But that's all I'm gonna say on this. I wanna hear your thoughts. Do you feel like Gen Z is aging at an exponential rate? Do you feel like people are exaggerating? And do you feel like millennials have now started to look younger for their age? I wanna hear all of your thoughts down in the comments below. If you made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. If you're new, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Follow me on my socials at Emergency, on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, as well as clicking the join button to become a channel member today. I just posted a new members only show review over there. So if you're interested, nice, you should definitely check that out. But other than that, y'all, I've been Emergency and I will see you in the next video. Peace.